Hey, what's happening, Star Gang? Hey, I'm back out here at the UDS Bill. Uh, since the last time we talked, uh, I did a few things. I sourced all my hardware, uh, and I marked my barrels. The design that I'm going to use, I'm going to come off straight with these uh, three-quarter inch valves, and I'm going to go straight off the side of the barrel. I opted to go that way. I'm going to use these nipples to, to go inside like that, and it's going to go straight off the barrel. This here is my one inch connector in the back, also an air intake. These here are three quarter. These are one inch. Here's something that I seen um, the barbecue nurse do, and I thought it was pretty ingenious. I'm going to have these. These are going to be rib hangers. And when I get over, this is going to be inserts for the rib hanger. And uh, when I get over to the barrel, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm going to do. These six bolts here are for the grate. I'm going with the three bolt method rather than the four bolt. And these are some, these wheels here. I was gonna get, buy me some wheels, but uh, I had these wheels damn near probably four or five years. And I said, shit, I'm gonna use these wheels right here. So this will, um, the wheels that I'm gonna use for the bottom. And they're metal too, so I'm not worrying about the heat messing them up. Uh, ball bearings seems to be pretty good. I bought these from Harbor Freight. Can't remember how much I paid for it. All right, here's my punch. I got right here. I got a set of drill bits. Probably be going to a quarter of an inch for a quarter of an inch hole. And I got my hole saw. So right now what I'm about to do, I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to drill all of these holes and then when I get through drilling these holes, we'll come back for our fitting and alignment. Here, now these are for the rib hangers. I'm gonna go in with the bushing here. I'm gonna drill through here, and I'm gonna drill through here, and I have corresponding holes on the other side of the drum where I'm gonna put a rod that's gonna go straight through, and I'm be able to hang ribs on the on the uh, unit. My first grate here is going to be four inches down, four and a half inches down, and I got it here. I got it marked here, and then I got it. This one here at eight and a half inches down, three inches off the bottom of the drum is my manual air intake. That's the one with the bushing with the plug in it. It's going to go there. Now, I split this drum into thirds. Here, four and a half for my second grade, eight and a half for my third grade. This here, as you're looking at here, is the, gonna be the front of the barrel, right here. And remember those rib hangers I was telling you about? It's gonna come out on this side here, a bushing here, and here, it's gonna be a bushing here. I used this four and a half and eight and a half as a reference mark for my thermometer. I'm gonna put my thermometer right here in the middle of my two grates. Here, it blocked the sun. Same markings. You have four and a half and you have eight and a half down here, you have three inches off the drum for the air intake, which I didn't show you guys, but I marked it here, three inches off the bottom here for the air intake. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how I got my measurements for my, for, for, for my drum. All drums are not gonna be the same. Some drums are gonna be different. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to uh, get this thing as pretty much exact as I could. Now my drum was 71.25 inches around. Okay, I wanted to get the halfway point, so I divided that times two, and that gives me 35.625. But trying to find 35 and 62.625 on the scale, I mean on a ruler, is pretty hard. So what I did is, 
we know that we that the 35 inches is a whole number and we already got that so I take the 0 0.625 and my ruler measured in eighth so I'm going to the nearest eighth you may want to go to the nearest sixteenth or the nearest fourth but I'm going to the eighth I go zero point six two five times eight and that gives me five eighths so I know on my on my tape that the middle way of my drum is 35 and 5 eighths. Okay, let's just say if you was doing it to the 16th, you'll say 0 0.625 times 16. That'll give you 10 16th, which you can simplify that. But uh, 10 16th is roughly 5 eighths. The same thing. Rat number one. And I opted to go with the two rack system because uh, let's say with all this space here, you can do a turkey or whatever. You got all the height. And this is rack number two, or should I say one. And this four and a half inches down and the other one's eight inches down. And with that right there, we can uh, damn near double the size of this smoker. But here's the thing that I'm really excited about that I really like is uh, the rib hanger. Because I made these four holes with the bushing. And I just got this, this steel right here. It's not stainless, but uh, I'm going to sand it down and, and everything's going to be uh, food safe. So Coming with this one right here. And then, I'll come in with the other one, and just like that. Now as you can see, I can hang any type of meat right here. But, what my, what, what, what I'm thinking about doing is, because I, I, I was gonna order me an exhaust stack, but then it hit me that if I have these holes here, if I have these holes here in this bushel, open like that, that should be enough to create a draw to keep my drum at a good at a good tip. So I'm gonna go on without putting a stack on it at first. Let me get my top right quick. Here's the top. I put the top on it, get me a handle, and note, uh, I'm not going to paint this thing. I'm going to leave it just like this. I really like the look on it. So, uh, that's what that's what we I did today, Star Gang. I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, I think the next time I bring you guys in probably be for the last fit and finish. All right, this has been the Meat Star. Find you some meat and smoke it. Okay. Turn me up a little bit.